get really casual and stuff, you just talk. Sure. Yeah. So, Marcus, please tell us something about yourself. Yeah, I'm Marcus, 48 years old, living in Bonn in Germany mm -hmm. uh, for almost three years now. Mm -hmm. uh, before that, I was working in Italy at a research institute for 15 years. Mm -hmm. So I spent quite a bit of time abroad, which I enjoyed very much and then eventually came back. Uh, after this long time in academia to, uh, to open a startup, mm -hmm. Mundialis, and we are dealing with uh, geoprocessing, satellite data processing, open source, of course, and open data. And oh. at this point, um, yeah, we are oh. quite in line also with this summer school. And how big is your startup? Uh, we have now nine staff, yeah. so growing from nothing to nine staff in mm -hmm. three years. Um, and I believe we continue to grow in the near future. Oh, great. And your, your main client base? Client base is half uh, research contracts and mm -hmm. the other half is B2B, so business mm -hmm. with other companies delivering, for example, data processing, mm -hmm. uh, analyzing time series of satellite data and mm -hmm. things like that. And are you getting to do things you like working in a commercial environment? Like? Yes. Is it enjoyable? This is quite enjoyable because mm -hmm. um, we can do what we want, more yeah. or less. <laughs> right. But uh, eventually we work in the open source, open data context. Yeah. Uh, we continue like this also mm -hmm. in business, so there's no exclusion mm -hmm. uh, to not uh, mm -hmm. to work in this manner. And uh, we find customers who uh, are interested in this. So it, the open data movement is quite growing in Europe and we can take advantage of turning data into information. Great, so you don't find that it's incompatible working in a commercial environment and also being an active member of not open society? No, because we uh, can also contribute to the open source software. So we are not only users as before, mm -hmm. uh, we uh, contribute, we develop what I did in the past in, in the research group. Mm -hmm. We also do now as a company. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think giving back is what is essential here and exchange of ideas and so forth. It's really good that you get to do what you love and make a living doing yeah, it as that's well. right. Um, so um, what are your key passions and interests at, at this time? Yeah, I'm pretty much a GIS person and remote sensing guy, which mm -hmm. means I spent uh, most of my professional life in, in the development of uh, Grass GIS, yeah. which is one of the longest developed uh, open source mm -hmm. GIS systems, now 35 years old. I spent a little bit less than that, but still uh, mm -hmm. doing coordination and we are organizing events. We are participating mm -hmm. in events like this one, mm -hmm. conferences and so on. Uh, and the community building is quite important for me. Mm -hmm. So exchange of ideas, getting new people interested, like we do here, this is quite essential for me. And um, can you describe to us your main contributions to the R and uh, OSGO communities? I was a bit involved in the R grass uh, interface. Uh, the development was driven by Roger Bevent, of course. Um, and then moreover, yeah, all kinds of exchange, how to do statistics in grass, to get some stuff implemented there, to have interfaces there to connect these uh, systems uh, in a tight way with, uh, for example, add-ons in GrassGIS, which then call internally R functionality, because the scope is to not reinvent the wheel, yeah. but like in a modular toolbox to make best use of everything. Fantastic. And uh, can you tell us why do you choose to come and teach at Geostat courses and what do you get out of it when you do that? Of course, I like to advertise our project, which is Grass GIS, in the yeah. OSGO context, but I do like to do so in a, in a larger context. So mm -hmm. I don't want to be focused on mm -hmm. a single thing, but uh, to see how it fits into the larger community, also to mm -hmm. take out especially remarks, comments, ideas, mm -hmm. uh, what else to do, maybe new questions, mm -hmm. New ideas come up from people who are even just seeing the system, and this is quite uh, profitable for me. And that's interesting. What's interesting to me, how would you compare coming to here to some of the other conferences and workshops you go to? So what I like is the spirit. Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah. most important for me, community spirit. So we yeah. love to do community sprints. We love to do conferences in yeah. this style. Yeah. Um, to, to go to something like an, let's say, anonymous conference where I don't know Many people would be yeah, possible, but not that interesting. Um, so what do you hope that Geostat participants would take away from their engagement with uh, you and with others at a Geostat course? 
So my hope is that uh, people collaborate, that they uh, learn what the others do, that they try to exchange ideas, that they also probably try to develop uh, systems which are either the same system or they are interfaced uh, through whatever technology mm -hmm. uh, to getting to get things done mm -hmm. and uh, to push limits further. Great. And um, who would you especially encourage to attend Geostat events and why would you do that? So I would like to see, as, I, as we do see here, but continuously to see young people uh, here, probably even first or second year uh, students, because they, well, they have some chance to learn uh, tools which they probably won't see otherwise, or too late, and uh, they can take some, quite some advantage out of it. And they would also see that they can influence themselves, so they can contribute. It's an open yeah. community, not something like closed, and um, I think this is quite uh, important if you want to go somewhere. And, and would you have any thoughts you could share to us on, on how potentially the Geostat courses might be reorgan or organized in a different way or delivered in a different way or just enhancements to the way it, uh, it's currently run? Any thoughts on that? So I think the, the let's say, the task the, uh, you have to do is to find the best way between going into depth and give an overview. And this is, of course, something we cannot solve easily. Yeah. So could be that um, in advance maybe some topic voting would be done but probably this also leads to nowhere because if people come they may come as uh, those who have never seen those systems before and so how to vote for something you don't quite know. Yeah. Um, maybe keep it like that, some modification could be to, to uh, broaden up uh, uh, the length of some of the uh, presentations mm -hmm. but well, overall I would mm -hmm. keep it more or less like this. Have you made any useful and important connections yourself in coming here? This time? Uh, so or, I just arrived, over the years last, Over the years, yeah. yeah. We recruited PhD students, for example. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so people who were maybe just uh, trying to find out where to go next, and yeah. we were able to offer interesting topics. And if you come here and you see those people are really dedicated to the mm -hmm. topic, then I'm quite interested to collaborate. Well, Marcus, thanks an awful lot for sharing with us your experiences at Geostat and, uh, and your, some of the information about yourself. And Thank you very you much. Wish you great luck. Thank you.